So hi and welcome. This is me with my Razer 2015 uh, gaming laptop. I'm going to show you how to change the hard drive. Um, basically, you need a SSD M.2 type hard drive. Um, this is an 80 mil one. Um, I'm going to show you here how to replace it. You, uh, I've used a uh, Samsung. 850 Evo here you can use crucial and there's quite a few of the hard drives but I prefer the Samsung's at the minute got good reliability and good speed good IOPS and as you can see here I'm using a type T5 screwdriver and um, torque one just like a little star um, I did look for a T6 and I found that it was too big um, in the UK here so basically you take off these uh, screws uh, and the aluminium plate basically just slides off. Underneath, uh, we need to take off two ribbon cables to the battery and one to the um, top left fan, extractor fan. And the SSD is sat just below that fan. And um, on the right hand side, you'll see another fan and the Wi Fi card. But we're not going to touch those. But if you're ever interested, you could change that Wi Fi card out just as easily. So I'm going to show you here, we're going to pin these little um, ribbon cables like a black connector. You basically lift it up and then the cable just pings out dead easy. Quite delicate but quite easy to do. And you just pull up the um, fan one here. This is the first time I've done it so I'm just taking a quick check. Make sure I'm not breaking it. Um, underneath the ribbon cable also there's a Phillips screwdriver um, screw that's holding the SSD driver. Um, so I'll just go and take that away as well. Once I've done that, you can see here that I'm also um, wiggling the uh, SSD drive because it's got a sticky thermal kind of tape below it. Um, now this is no problem, you just need to give it a little bit of a lift and then just put that tape back down if it lifts up like it did for me. Um, and then basically push in the next SSD card. Uh, they are quite delicate but you know, I'm not the delicacy of person so you can be a little bit rough but just be careful. Uh, once the hard drive's replaced, put all the pins back as you can see here, and put the ribbon cables back. Basically, put the cable inside and just push it down with the the black clip, and it will take place. Put the aluminium cover on. I um, do one screw in each corner here just to make sure that I've got the case aligned because it's aluminium. You don't want to damage it. Um, and I'll fast forward the video here, and basically we uh, we put the back in back on. So what you see next is I'm um, turning on the laptop and I'm just checking in the BIOS to make sure that the uh, hard drives are selected and that I'm disabling any other ones that I don't particularly want to use. So you see a lot of the USB stuff in there. Um, I basically turn these off just because uh, make it a bit tighter in the BIOS but we don't want to boot it from it. Um, I'm using uh, Acronis which is a 30-day trial backup software. I took a backup before I changed the hard drive, so I advise you do that. Put it onto a USB pen, um, and basically I'm going to re-image the drive. So this re-imaging the drive also, quite a lot of people are asking on the forums, allows you to keep the recovery partition for the razor blade, so F9 option basically. Uh, I took, a, say, a copy of the um, image using a chrono there that I've got the... Um, the hard drive. So when I've gone into a Chronos now, you can see I can pick the image, which is Razor Blade or Razor underscore Blade, and um, you'll see the process install. Once that's completed, you uh, get to see here me just logging in to Windows 8.1, and uh, away it goes. Once it's installed, it takes about eight minutes to restore the image. This was on a 35 gig uh, Acronis image. Another thing to bear in mind once this image is completed and restored is I used uh, a partition expander. Um, you can either use the one in Windows 8 which didn't work for me or there's some free ones out there. Um, and that will put it in the description and that will allow you to expand the partition, um, the active partition. So I used a 256 hard drive originally, it was a Razor Blade 2015. I've upgraded to the 500 gig Samsung. That means I had 227 gig unallocated space. So in Windows I could only see the same size space as I had in my 256. Once I've expanded the partition, it reveals the whole um, 467 gig 
um, usable space, so something else to bear in mind. Yep, so you see it boot back into the Razer Blade 8.1 Windows. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to see some more Razer videos, let me know. Uh, I'm fancy, I'm probably going to do some benchmarking, I think, so yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching, cheers, bye.